We're going to look at how to do another Atterberg limit. So this time we're going to do the plastic limit. And Simon tells me we don't need any fancy equipment for this one, just our hands. So let's get started. How do we do it? Okay. So we can uh, just use the samples we used for the liquid limit test. Mm -hmm. And take up, up about uh, seven to eight grams of the sample and then just uh, roll it uh, into a bowl um, between your palms. And so now you roll it on the bench, so gently, very gently. So try to roll worms as fine as three millimeter in diameter. Okay, Yeah. so I'm just rolling and trying to get it down to yeah. just three millimeters. Yeah. And uh, you can see so here, like uh, uh, it's it's even finer than three millimeter. Mm -hmm. No, it, it falls apart. But uh, this is because, like, uh, you know, sometimes I just rip, I ripped my hands apart, so okay. may make them a, a, a break. It's not the so it still break apart uh, apart uh, automatically. So, which means that. Uh, we have to make the soil a little bit drier to get to the plastic limit. Okay. So you just break it into seven or eight pieces. So there's a difference between the worm breaking because we're not perfect worm rollers and, and versus it being in the pla not at the plastic uh -huh, limit. Yeah, okay. and so you roll it again. And by this rolling, so you know, um, your palms actually are heating uh, the soil, so make it evaporate a little bit. Uh, moisture, right? Okay. So make it a little bit drier. And uh, you roll it a, a little bit, maybe like uh, uh, 10 or 20 seconds. Okay. And then you just roll it again. To dry it down? Yeah. And also during the rolling of the worms, you know, and because its surface uh, just uh, in, uh, increased, so which also speed up the uh, evaporation, right? So make, make it a little bit drier. Uh, you just try to do it. So if, well, mine's starting to break apart a well, little bit. Well, maybe you, because you pressed a little bit uh, too hard. Okay. So like uh, you see, and it's still finer than like than three millimeters, okay. right? And uh, again, uh, for part because, only because like uh, my hands uh, uh, didn't go uh, parallelly so to each other. So then I just uh, mix it again, and then roll, roll in my palms again. So it started to break apart, but last time it worked. So yeah. does that mean you reach the plastic limit? Yeah, which means the plastic limit uh, is here now. Okay. So we collect, you can either collect all of this and all just collect a part of this. So any part like uh, which uh, falls apart at first and you collect them in the tin. Okay, so the first time that your worm will not roll out to three millimeters, uh, it's yeah. reached its plastic exactly. limit. Exactly. We want to take that as a sample yeah. right. and I guess we're determining the uh, water level. In Perfect. The... Yeah, you know okay. it. So now this is a sample, and uh, normally I do three replicates as I did for the liquid limit. And uh, you test uh, its water content, and then you get the average, mm -hmm. and that's your plastic limit. Okay.